As the South African government considers whether to extend the COVID-19 lockdown or not, we are all desperate for good news. Of course we are. These are difficult times, uh, not just from a health crisis, but also from an economic perspective. So it's no wonder that when somebody puts out a really upbeat and good news article, it just floods our WhatsApps and our social media platforms. I'm a huge fan of Alan Not Craig Jr. and the work that he's done in our country and the insights that he always has. And his upbeat messages through the years have always been well received. But I think his latest one is slightly ahead of the game. I agree with him that the BCG vaccination that all South Africans are forced to get in childhood actually does look like it might be giving countries and people around the world a little bit of immunity. But it is way too early for us to make that big a call to just release everybody from lockdown on the basis of a hope, uh, of a hope that this vaccine will work for us. Let's remember what the point of lockdown is. Lockdown is not about curing COVID-19. We can't cure COVID-19. The best we can hope for is a vaccine, and that's 12 to 18 months away from now. So we're not trying to cure things. What we're trying to do is flatten the curve. Just to be clear about what that means. What we want is to make sure that the number of new infections that we get in the country do not exceed the ability of the hospitals to care for the people who need hospital care. And that's what we're really focused on at the moment. We're doing well. The number of new infections, it doesn't seem to be growing in the way we're seeing it growing elsewhere in the world. That may be because we're not testing enough, but you know what? We're not seeing the hospitals flooded with people who need hospital care. So maybe we're doing well. But we need to take another week or two to make sure that we've done well enough. We closed uh, down early, we locked down early, uh, we are setting everything up in a really good way. As South Africa, we are really doing well. But if we release lockdown too early before we are sure that our healthcare system can handle the new infection cases, we could create a world of pain for ourselves. I really think that the government is going to extend lockdown by two or maybe three weeks. They probably will at the same time make a few other services essential services. Let's be honest, I live in a house full of women and I think hairdressing, waxing and nails is about to become essential. So it might be things like hardware stores, it might be clothing stores, it might be beauty parlors and hairdressers. But I think the government will, will extend, making a few other stores open for us, but no restaurants, uh, no flights, no international travel, no movies, no things that would put lots of people together. We still need to social distance and we still need to make sure that we keep vigilant about whether COVID-19 is really going to hit South Africa. We haven't really seen yet what it's going to do if it rampages through a township, if it really hits people who are struggling with HIV and TB. We just don't know what it will do in that environment. Honestly, I hope Alan Not Craig Jr. is correct. I hope that this BCG vaccine, which I got, and if you're a South African, probably you got as well, I really hope that it gives us some protection against COVID. Wouldn't that be the most amazing story? But let's not jump the gun here. We probably need two or three more weeks just to make sure that we've beaten this thing properly and that we as a nation are in fact protected from it. And then, of course, the message that Alan put out, which is that we should get back to work, that we should get ahead of the rest of the world in sorting our economy out. Well, all of that I agree with 100%. But let's not do it too quickly in case that's a very tragic mistake.